Welcome Aries to your November reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Aries, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Aries, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with number 40, co-create, and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what co-create is all about for Aries, please. And we've got the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Aries co-create speaks to us of creativity, art, inspiration, fruition and manifestation. Now what I am seeing here for you my dear Aries is a very exciting energy because we see that you are coming through as the Queen of Cups. It does not matter if you are masculine or feminine, it is the energy of Queen of Cups I am speaking about. So it tells me, my dear Aries, you are very intuitive this month. This is the month you can trust what you're feeling. Your hunches, your gut feelings, your premonitions, and there is a big chance you will be receiving messages and downloads in your dreams. Now this month, my dear Aries, Spirit is working very closely with you in order for you to bring about something you want to initiate or begin, something you want to start in your life. And as you can imagine, this is going to be very different for everybody. But the secret ingredient here for you, Aries, is to co-create with spirit. Bring spirit into whatever this is. And you do it in a way, Aries, that's easy and comfortable to you. If meditation is easy for you, do your meditation. If creating a vision board is easier, create a vision board. Find a way, a method that you enjoy, that comes naturally to you, and work on whatever this is. Because what I am seeing here is that whatever you focus on, and that whatever you want to bring about, as soon as you partner with spirit, my gosh, Aries, within days, and I don't feel this will be more than a week, you're already going to see something materialize, something starting to happen. And Page of Pentacles is this wonderful energy of initiating something new. So Aries, what we are seeing here, for example, if you have been looking to move, and as of yet you have not found that dream apartment or house you've been looking for, this would be the month to bring spirit into the equation. So perhaps you are a visually based person and you create a vision board. What you want your new home to look like, to feel like, the kind of people you want to meet in this new neighborhood. Go into the detail, my dear Aries. Find pictures and images. Write quotes that resonate with what this is for you and work on it. Look at it every chance you have, especially first thing in the morning and last thing at night. What we are seeing, once you ignite that partnership with spirit, before you know it, my dear Aries, there is great possibility that within a few days, either the real estate agent calls you up or you see a particular home advertised, you go see it and it is exactly what you have been looking for. So this month, Aries, co-create with spirit because whatever this is for you, you're going to have this energy of it coming into fruition and it manifesting. Now, I gave you a home example. This can come through with something to do with your love life, with your job, your money, your finances, with your family life, something to do with your health. Bring spirit in, my dear Aries, you will never look back. Very nice to see. 
Now let us move on and see what number three solar plex chakra is all about and I will just get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what solar plex chakra is for Aries, please. And we've got two of cups, the three of pentacles, and the seven of pentacles. Aries, the frequency of the solar plex chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution to the whole is. So it's very much about what that deep oracle within you is calling for you to do. Now what we see here, Aries, is that there is a particular relationship coming under the spotlight. And Two of Cups speaks to us of a relationship that is of utmost importance to us, where we have a deep and special connection to another person. This could be a relationship that is already in your life, or it could be, my dear Aries, a new relationship coming in. This could be your significant other or a new potential love partner coming in in November. This could be a close friend or a new friend coming in. So please take it where it resonates, but it will come through in a relationship where you have this Two of Cups energy about it. Now what I'm seeing here with Seven of Pentacles Aries is that you have been quite unsure where you stand when it comes to this particular relationship or where to go or how to grow it or how to manifest it. Seven of Pentacles tells me you've been really looking at how am I going to meet somebody or how do I take my relationship to the next level? How am I going to find friends or how can I deepen and expand an existing friendship? With Three of Pentacles here, you want this relationship to be more solid, more grounded, something that you can rely on, something that is not going to be here today, gone tomorrow. What I am seeing here, Aries, is that you feel you want more from this relationship. You want more of a commitment. You want to build something more solid. So it could be that you've been dating your partner for a few months and you feel ready to take it to the next level. Either you want to move in with your partner or you want an engagement, you want something more solid and you've really been giving this a lot of thought. If Two of Cups for you, my dear Aries, is the desire of wanting to meet somebody, somebody that you can have a solid long-term relationship with, we see you thinking and pondering, how am I going to meet this person? Where am I going to meet this person? Now, of course, as I said, this is going to be very specific to you. What we see here, my dear Aries, is that in November, you are really going to come to terms with what you need in this particular relationship. And with solar plex chakra, remember, it's about your sense of personal power. You are going to get out of this energy of thinking, pondering, should I do this or then again, maybe I should do that. This month, my dear Aries, you're going to make strong decisions of how you can accomplish what you want to see play out in this particular relationship. So if this for you is finding a new job and you want now a boss you connect to, a boss who understands you, who appreciates you, who values you and mentors you. We see you taking control of the situation. That when you put your resume out, you'd research this prospective boss. And when you go for the interview, you ensure as much as you can that this is somebody you're going to get on with. This is somebody who values their employees. And you don't move or do anything until you are sure about it. Whatever it is for you, my dear Aries, we see you taking control of the situation. 
You honor who you are and you ensure that whoever this person is, is the right person that now comes into your life or it is the right person you now expand this existing relationship with. It's through your actions and through your decision making. Most of all, my dear Aries, you're out of this energy of thinking and pondering how you, my dear Aries, are moving into making this now something of substance and building a solid foundation in whatever this is for you. Very strong energy coming through there. Now let us see what number eight community is all about for you and I will just get your clarifiers. Let us see now what community is for Aries please. And we have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Aries community speaks to us of belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, and knowing your place in the world. So we can see how community can be connected to solar plex chakra and even to our co-create message. Now what I'm seeing here for you, my dear Aries, is quite wonderful because you, Aries, are taking this dream of this connection, the sense of belonging somewhere, the sense of being amongst like-minded people, being in a place where you can grow and expand and feel part of something, and you're willing to do the work. You are willing to do whatever it takes. With Page of Swords coming in here, I see you starting off excited about the possibility of taking an existing relationship to the next level, or about the possibility of meeting whoever Two of Cups is for you. And with Page of Swords, there's a lot of ideas and a lot of plans. I see you starting new hobbies and joining new activity groups. So we see November being quite a busy and social month for you. I do feel that this has been a long time coming for you, Aries. You've dreamt of this community energy, this sense of belonging, whether it is in a bigger environment, about feeling good where you are living, or about feeling good about being in a certain relationship with a group of friends, with a group of colleagues, Wherever it relates to you, you've been dreaming about it for a long time. And this is the month where you use your personal power, that sense of I know what is right for me and I'm going to do something about it. And with Knight of Wands coming in, facing our Seven of Cups, my dear Aries, you are getting out there and making this happen for yourself. You know, Aries, being amongst people, who see us for who we are, value us, appreciate us, and accept us warts and all, is such a wonderful place to be. And this is what I'm seeing for you. It doesn't matter who you are, or what you've done or what you haven't done and where you've been. This is the month, my dear Aries, you're going to find yourself amongst a group of people or a person where you feel like, wow, I belong. I'm seen for who I am. They get me. They understand me. There's no judgment. There's no criticism. And this all comes about by you honoring what is right for you, by you working with spirit in bringing what you want to see manifest this month. Remember, my dear Aries, that this energy of co-create, bringing spirit in, we saw that when you did that, things happened very quickly. So bring spirit into everything we have seen and spoken about. Because with this energy now of having the possibility of bringing a dream down that has just remained up there in the spiritual realm, this is the month Spirit is wanting to co-create with you so you see actual manifestations coming through. This is going to be a great month, Aries. Let's move on now and see what your spirit animal is for the month. So we want to see now... What Aries spirit animal is for this month, please. A 
and you have number 56, Spider Spirit, Make Your Dreams Real. The number 56 is your lucky number this month. Any combination or variation of the numbers 5 and 6, please consider very auspicious. The spider is your spirit animal, so wherever the spider comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, make your dreams real. And this is exactly what we have seen and spoken about. You are making your dreams real. You are taking them down from the spiritual realm and bringing them into actuality on the physical realm by co-creating with spirit. You are bringing in the sense of true connection, the sense of belonging, being part of something where you are seen for the beautiful, unique and wonderful soul that you are. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I am sending you all so much love.